All right, guys. So I got a can of Red Seal Natural Long Cut here. Gonna be doing a little review on it. Watching some flash. What the hell? Oh my God! So I had uh, posted a picture earlier of uh, three different cans in the Red Seal. I uh, got a couple people that wanted to see the skull. Uh, I've had some people ask about the smooth winter green. Uh, been trying to add everybody uh, also in the group, so uh, I get like some, you know, I get the one-on-one -on -one talk with people and see what they want to see and what they want to do. Um, I actually had a special request for the Red Seal, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it because it's, it's a cheaper dip. It's a little bit of a budget dip and uh, it is also 25% more tobacco than uh, other cans. Uh, you can actually see the difference there. And these are all U.S. smokeless products, Copenhagen, Red Seal, Skull. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to go with it. We got the uh, Cluster Bomb Mud Jug today. Got a bunch of cool little different things on here. A little a little hockey mask guy. Oh, energy meta. And you just got to use Outlaw it whiskey, some yeah. skulls. Yeah. Once flash showed up, little devil girl. Doesn't matter anymore. So, that's the mud jug for the day. You don't have your power. Uh, they just disappear. I'm, I want to I want to say Red Seal is more of a budget dip because some places it seems like it's three, four bucks, and then you know everywhere else I go, I get Copenhagen or Skull, and it's it's five, almost six dollars a can. I've actually, I think I paid six dollars and some for a can of uh, Gold Lid Copenhagen not too long ago, and uh, that is uh, pretty crazy, pretty wild. Uh, all these tobacco prices that are raising and stuff like that. Um, so. If you got some red seal in your town, in your area, whatever it may be, I would definitely consider picking some up. Because uh, so far, uh, I've had this in for a few minutes. Uh, it's got a good flavor. It's uh, sitting well on my lip. It's, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it definitely has a good natural taste to it. Um, it's a little sweeter, I think, than uh, most naturals that are out there. I'm gonna go back to my room, get some comfort. Uh, Stoker's Natural is nowhere near the flavor of any naturals that I've ever had, but I mean, I don't know. Uh, Red Seal's definitely a, a distinct taste compared to uh, Copenhagen, and uh, another another natural I've had is um, uh, Grizzly. Uh, uh, me and uh, uh, another member were actually talking about. Uh, Grizzly, I think, not too long ago. Uh, some Grizzly 1900, and then they switched it to natural, and they also have a snuff. Uh, and I've had the natural, and their their natural's decent. Uh, it's not the best. I don't I don't really go for Grizzly. Uh, if I do, I get Dark Select, which that's a nice natural dark fried kind of straight taste, I guess. I don't like straight though. But as far as this Red Seal goes, I definitely recommend it. Uh, Especially, I mean, it is a bigger can. I mean, it's there's definitely more tobacco in here than than uh, what uh, most cans are. Uh, I think most cans are one two. Uh, this is one five. Uh, if that really does make a difference, I don't know compared to the weight of the can or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, I would say that uh, I definitely give the uh, taste a seven uh, compared to other naturals I've had. I have had like Longhorn and Timberwolf natural. I've had the cheapest of the cheap you can get. I've, I've probably tried almost every flavor out there also. Uh, had a lot of flavors. Had a lot of different brands. Tried a lot of stuff. Tried a lot of chew. Uh, I like chewing tobacco. Chew's always a good thing. Okay. How'd you do that? But uh, as far as it's natural, for anybody that uh, likes a, a sweet, distinct taste in a natural, uh, the Red Seal would definitely be the way to go. Uh, this is the long cut again. Uh, there is a fine cut. Uh, I just had that not too long ago. 
and uh, I definitely want to say the fine cut is a, a distinct well a different it's a it's definitely distinctively <clears throat> different than this it is way different it has its own distinct taste compared to the long cut uh, they're both natural uh, but different cuts completely different taste uh, don't know if that has anything to do with like Copenhagen snuff and Copenhagen original they're both completely different tastes one's long cut one spine Except cut one very small thing. you know there's there's a big difference there and Your i feel like the, the difference carries on to red seal for sure uh red seal does coupons just like copenhagen you can go to, i don't know if you can see that go to redseal.com always 25 percent more tobacco uh, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, I've had this can for uh, quite a few days and uh, only got about a pinch left. Uh, I've definitely been dipping on it quite frequently. I dip on it a lot at work. Uh, just kind of, I guess, calms the nerves at work. Just chilling, hanging out, stuff like that. Uh, I dip like mint and I don't. I, I dip this school, the cool spearmint. Uh, actually, when I when I get a little tired or if I actually want to like lay down i actually put in a dip of this and uh gives me a nice little buzz to go sleep with uh because i don't dip mint or wintergreen too often uh so i feel like i don't really feel the effects of dip anymore because uh, i've because i've tried so many and i've had so many different ones and i usually dip the higher brand stuff anyways i guess i don't know but uh i do not like regular wintergreen uh but i do like the smooth wintergreen uh, it's definitely a different taste, I think. Uh, the only other wintergreen I like is a uh, Skull Fine Cut Wintergreen, and uh, I get that every now and then. That's a good dip. It's that's pricey too. Um, as far as any of you guys who uh, do dip Red Seal, uh, hell yeah, keep on dipping it. Hope you got a dip in while you're watching this video, of course. You always put a good dip in. Uh, I said, put it down. I want to uh, cover uh, the announcement I made of uh, deleting people and uh, taking people off that were inactive. Um, I personally did not delete anybody. Uh, a few people did delete themselves. That was in their own doing. That's whatever. It's cool. It happens. Uh, hopefully we will still expand. Uh, we will get bigger. Uh, things will get better. Um, I'm going to try and keep on doing videos uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, do Mud Jug Monday. Wintergreen Wednesday, I guess. I'll get a can of smooth wintergreen or skull fine cut wintergreen every Wednesday or something. And uh, do a little pinch of that. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, and then on Friday, you have fine cut Friday or full can Friday. Um, either or, I'll do a full can, whether it's fine cut or just whatever. Um, and uh yeah we'll go with that uh i just uh recently appointed um leakin uh as a uh, moderator uh so i am going to uh try discussing with him uh jess country kansas and uh my buddy tyler uh about trying to set up some things maybe get those Maybe get those guys doing something special on certain days or videos and, you know, just have main people doing main stuff for everybody else to watch if that's uh, what you guys want to do. Um, I appreciate the uh, people that do contribute. Um, we did just get a new member, Gary. Welcome to the group, buddy. Uh, hope you like this video. Hope you uh, get some ideas going for us. Uh, drop comments about dip you'd like to see reviews, full cans you like to see. Um, I got almost 40 mud jugs. I can almost guarantee I might have an interesting mud jug somebody would want to see. Uh, there's pictures along the group of all my mud jugs. Uh, there's ones you want to see more in depth. Uh, the reasons I got them, uh, why I have so many, anything like that. Uh, I'd be willing to answer kind of whatever questions uh, when it pertains to dip, mud jugs, uh, videos, whatever it may be. Uh, hope you guys like this video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, it's just, it's just melting this flash episode is getting pretty interesting and uh, we need to find them as much might not want to miss it. There's some definitely some uh, things going on here. So I'm going to continue to enjoy this uh, Red Seal Natural. 
gonna watch my flash. Hope y'all liked this video. Go pick you up a can of Red Seal. Um, hope this helped anybody that does want to try Red Seal. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, the flavor uh, is sticking throughout pretty well. This video has been about 10 minutes so far and uh, it's been pretty good. Uh, doesn't juice up real bad. Don't really have to spit too much. Uh, don't really have anything floating around like fine cut. Uh, overall, I'd give this dip an 8 and I do, uh, I do definitely recommend it for anybody. Um, and uh, one more thing, I am uh, going to probably throw up some small videos on the Smooth Wither Green and the uh, Cool Spearmint just for shits and giggles. Uh, just to give a little bit of an extra uh, short video for you guys. Something to check out, something to watch. Well, that's all for this one guys. Hope you all always remember to put a good dip in and uh, let me know what you think.